you know, that's a defense. Has, has that ever stopped you before? Gentlemen, <laughs> as you, uh, <laughs> as, the more intelligent uh, questions, yes. yes. <laughs> as you respond to the question, state your name and who you represent uh, for the record so that uh, it goes under uh, the original fiscal describing Transcribing your, your remarks will know who's speaking. Okay. Just um, reference. I you got a question, Senator Taylor? Sure. Um, so, if I could, if you could go over the, the financial impact of, of changing from the from ADA to MNO, you could just sort of go through that, but on a per student basis, and then on an aggregate basis, on a on an annual and biannual basis. Yeah. Um, Aaron Henderson, Legislative Budget Board. Um, uh, the bill, as it was written before, uh, was based on the state average per pupil MNO expenditure per student and average daily attendance. Uh, that was uh, the number that was used in the fiscal note was nine thousand seven hundred twenty-seven dollars, based on two thousand fifteen expenditure data. If we use that same source of information but base it on enrollment instead of ADA, uh, it would go to approximately nine thousand sixty-five dollars as the basis for the calculations. Okay. So, so that would lower slightly on a per student basis and therefore on an annual basis and biannual basis the fiscal note, right? Yes. So, okay. All right. Uh, Senator West? Senator, Senator, Mr. Senator Chairman. West, uh, you're recognized, sir. Will there still be a negative impact to the uh, Foundation School Program? Um, I don't have um, a, a final fiscal note. Uh, no. That, that right. no further questions. Uh, uh, I have a Senator? question. The the fiscal note, and in the last committee substitute, it was somewhere between ninety and three hundred million dollars. That fiscal note is based upon money in addition to the diversion of ADA, which doesn't count anything additionally on the fiscal note. Is that correct? Uh, the the first fiscal note did consider uh, the um, uh, the students that would be leaving the foundation school program and entering uh, uh, through the two programs. So the fiscal note is is really a comment on the diversion from the foundation school program. It does not describe additional costs to that diversion. Is that correct? Uh, the fiscal note uh, assumed a cost related to the awards that would be provided to the students as well as uh, the savings uh, from the students leaving the system. So the, uh, the net impact was that uh, $89 million to $380 million that you mentioned. Okay, thank the you. Two scenarios. Senator West? There's still, we would still be losing general revenue too as a result of the tax credits, right? Um, uh, yeah. Yes, I just said yes. How much would we be losing in general revenue that would have to be replaced um, by, how much in general revenue would we be losing? Um, Do you know? Um, I believe the, um, uh, so the, uh, uh, many of the changes that uh, relate to the fiscal note have to do with the timing uh, uh, aspect, and that was addressed under Scenario 2 under the fiscal note. Right. Um, I believe under Scenario 2, uh, there weren't any significant changes between the introduced version and, um, and the committee substitute, a, a, as I have seen. Um, that, uh, except at least in the, in the first two years, uh, the tax credit program was limited. But in uh, the upcoming biennium, uh, those amounts wouldn't have changed, which would have been a cost of uh, $100 million in reduced revenue, uh, offset by some savings of um, approximately $50 million in each year. So how much is the loans, general revenue, overall? Uh, that would have netted in, in the upcoming biennium um, in uh, out years. Uh, it would be approximately a um, uh, $50 million cost in per, the years. Per year? Yes. Okay, so uh, in out years, you, and you do it for five years, right? Yes. So how much over the five years would we be losing, losing general revenue? Uh, for this program specifically, um, uh, there would be savings of approximately $250 million and a cost of approximately $400 million.